Welcome back. Uh, here I have an SR10 by Team Associated. These things are really, really fun. This is my friend Rods. Uh, please follow him on Instagram at Rods Reels RCs. The Lexan body that is provided is actually a very nice body. Uh, I mean, these cars have been out for a while now, but I'm finally going to be able to do a teardown. That's his Instagram. Um, oh, he put this clip on backwards. Uh, the Lexan is actually quite thick. It's very thick Lexan. Uh, he did have some tape here to prevent the wheels from rubbing, uh, but this body has taken a beating. I mean, we were dragging, uh, and then he was going over speed bumps and just making this thing fly. Uh, and the body's still in pretty good shape. A few little cracks over here. One of the things I do like about the body is the style. It looks very similar to the uh, Monte Carlos from the 80s uh, and That's one of the things I like mainly because well those things were used to drive on dirt when I was a child uh, That's what I saw On dirt ovals uh, But here it is uh, so one of the nice things about these cars if you ever considered one of these is they're buggies That's that's really all they are. It's just a buggy with this big massive bumper in the front and well this one in the rear so you could remove this, remove this mount. Uh, there's a different way, well, uh, I mean, just remove this mount, remove the rear bumper, remove the front bumper, just get the plate in the front, a little tiny bumper, and then just Velcro a buggy body on here, and that's it, uh, you have a buggy. Uh, and you can just get uh, buggy tires, uh, so if you want to run on clay, uh, that's really all you need, but this is just a buggy. Nothing else but a buggy. Uh, well, uh, we're going to begin the teardown right now. So the first thing I want to do is I want to open this up so that I can have access to the servo. So in order to do that, I'm going to do just what I mentioned, which was removing the front bumper. We're going to have these four screws right here, but also for the bumper, there's four more screws. We're gonna have one, two, three, and four. Do not worry about these. These just hold the foam. And so this is a two millimeter driver that I'm going to be using. And I guess I could consider an electric screwdriver at some point uh, just to remove these. Uh, maybe if I'm nice, I'll get, uh, I'll get one for my birthday. Uh, nope, nope, I'm always nice. Still haven't gotten any, anything for my birthday. Uh, I'm kidding. That's because I spend too much on RCs. Another joke. I, I don't spend too much on RCs. I know exactly how much I spend. You know you're spending too much on RCs when you start losing count. Uh, I'll write everything down. Just don't ask. The numbers get scary. I didn't realize numbers, they made numbers that big. Here we go. Now these are quite large. Uh, there's uh, another buggy, I can't remember the name right now. Uh, maybe you guys can put it in the comments. It's the same exact platform, that's the entry level buggy from Team Associated. Uh, that's to sort of get people into the hobby. Uh, it's a ready to run version, but it's the same, same setup. Now I do like these bumpers. These are great, especially if you get the short course, which uh, I will be doing uh, on the Pro 2. I'm gonna be doing some teardown videos at some point, so watch them. They're really the same vehicle. So the Pro 2 and this SR10 are the same vehicle. You just get a longer chassis with the Pro 2 and obviously the basic short course uh, parts that make it a short course versus this buggy based version. But uh, the the basic design is the same. Right here. So it's these two. Which is also a nice two wheel drive vehicle. I mean, Team Associated just makes, they make really nice two wheel drive vehicles for the price. 
And I say for the price because there are some other vehicles that are in some people's eyes better vehicles. In my eyes, I think Team Associated is a very good brand, especially for the price. And you can't beat that. And I'm back to price. Uh, but if you were to get, for example, an X-ray equivalent, you're looking at over $400. Sorry. Yes, over $400 for the kit. Maybe just over $400 for a short course kit, for example. Uh, that's something to consider. All right, so I have those screws there. So now, these things will just pop up and the bumper comes off. Now I'm not going to take out, uh, rem uh, break this apart completely, but it's just these four screws and this plate will come off. So these two, go to here, and then these go to here. So if you needed to replace these posts, just remove them there. And if you need to move this up and down, you have that point right here. So that's what you would do for this. Now I'm gonna set this off to the side. This thing's gonna be run shortly after, so I'm not going to bother wiping everything down, but at this point, you would want to wipe everything down. Now, these posts here for the front bumper, there's a screw back here, but you need to remove the shock tower. And the shock tower, you can just flip these over. And then when you flip these over, you have those four screws right there. So let's go ahead and uh, just remove this top plate. Because again, we want access to the servo. So we'll remove this top plate. One of the reasons why I want to remove the servo, or I want access to the servo, really, is so that I can get rid of the, although this might be a bad idea, but I'm gonna tell my friend, because uh, I'm, I don't know if these are metal gears or plastic gears, I'm gonna have to look at them, up, look them up. But he wants to get rid of the servo saver because the servo saver is kind of awful. Uh, once you remove these top screws, now I didn't have to remove the bumper, I just wanted to. So it's these top screws and then those four at the bottom, the four really long screws that we removed initially, these, and the whole front end will be taken apart. At this point, you can just hold this arm and you just twist and this will come off. Now, it's up to you if you want to leave it here or you want to leave it here. It doesn't really matter. But uh, this is how you access the servo. So from here, if I wanted to remove the servo, uh, I'm just going to tell you what to do. See these two screws? These, the servo actually comes up. So I don't need to remove the front end to access it, but if I want to just replace this, I just remove that, uh, but or I can remove the servo. The reason why I did it this way is I'm gonna tear down the entire front end. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, but let me show you what the servo looks like had I not removed this section right here. You would have to unclip this, which you can do with a driver or pliers, or you can just take these two off So this is part two, how to access the servo, in a way, in a way part two. And then the servo pops up, which was probably a good idea because then I can get all of that out. Uh, then this would have come out and then you would have to unclip this or else it would be stuck here. So sometimes removing a few extra screws just makes everything a lot easier. Now, say you were replacing the servo. Now you just have to open this, open this. This would pop out, this slides out and you just disconnect. Let me go ahead and show you. And 
and here's the second screw. And that is it. Uh, so this would just come out. Now, if you had to replace the receiver, you can just pry this out. It's, there's just double stick tape. That's all you, that you have. Uh, in order to remove the ESC, you have the ESC switch right over here, and then you have the ESC wire, which is going to run underneath here, and then come out through the bottom. I believe it's there. Hold on. Let me just double check. Uh, Oh, sorry, it's through the front, so it's under here. There it is. So here's the wire for the ESC. I have the car on backwards. And then it just goes in through here again. Uh, so you have this, this weather stripping here. You will have to remove it. It's, it just pops out. That's all it does. So if you go in here, this will just pop up. I'm getting it up. I'm not, there we go. Nope. So if you do that, and then these wires, there's gonna be a little rubber block there, and then these wires just come up. So pop that little wire block out, and then you can slide the wires up. Uh, but that is it. Now, this piece of weather stripping, this is square, it's not round, so make sure that you get it in there. But that's how you would remove these. And the ESC on here, whoa, I need to tell my friend. This thing's already come off. This is no good. All right. Wow, interesting. So as you can see, those plates, uh, those are for your heat sink. This is the heat sink. That is the material for the heat sink. And this thing came off. Uh, so I'm gonna have to talk to him, get new paste. So we're gonna have to get some thermo paste and then uh, glue this thing on. Uh, yeah, I think I have some computer paste for my uh, uh, processors, for my ECUs. Uh, so that's really all you need. You just need thermo paste for this. Now, this is quite a discovery. I was not expecting to run into that the very first time. I mean, again, he's been running these things super hard. Uh, but that's how you access the electronic. Then these wires, they just unplug. Uh, but... That is all you do for this. Now, the main thing, servo. All right. Part that we're gonna be using is FT aluminum servo horn 25. Uh, this is 15.5 millimeter, 1366. Now this is factory team, this is by team associated. These are sort of their high-end parts, their performance parts. Uh, so if you go on their website, you can find them there. Uh, let me go ahead and open this. Uh, you really want to use a knife. I left it in my bag. So that's fun. There we go. All right, and here is the horn. Uh, so this is the correct length. That's one of the nice things too about uh, Team Associated. Uh, they will uh, just match up the parts online with the vehicle. Uh, you're gonna need a two millimeter driver for this. And one of the things, I'm not sure the camera caught it, but as I was turning, this spring, this round metal part, that metallic part, that is the spring. That thing was... Uh, creating that flex, which is what saves your servo, which is why it's called a servo saver. It takes some of the impact so that your servo does not. Uh, now, I'm trying to line this perpendicular to the servo so that when I install the other one, I install it in the same fashion. All right, we're gonna use that. And, all right, that's about perpendicular. Uh, and I'm just using this flat head to just pry this out. And, oh, wait a minute. Uh, let's 
let's see. Now, this is part 91728. Uh, he gave me this part. This is for, for the servo horns, 15.5 millimeter. There are some servo horns here. The only part I'm gonna take out is this little round washer because everything else is just a fiber plastic horn. So let's see. Although I have a feeling I could use this, but maybe not, I could be wrong. So this is all I'm looking for. Now, there's a flat side and a rounded side. Uh, let's see. All right, so I'll put the flat side against the servo. This is strange. I, th I think he gave me extra parts. Let me double check. So don't do everything I'm doing because this does not look right. Okay, I doubt it. Let me just go with the horn. I'll give him that part back in the bag. Do not believe you need this. Now, this one is Metal Gears. Uh, all right, so that is it. No, you don't need that other part. So I will have to let him know. Uh, now, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of thread lock on this screw. Always put a little bit of thread lock on it. And then once you have that thread lock, you just go ahead and reuse the same screw. And you want that thread lock because you're going into metal. That's the reason why. Now, metal gears are not necessarily the best gears. Uh, and what I mean by that is there's generally three types of metal gears. So if a servo says it's metal gear, it's generally brass and steel. And brass is a very soft metal, so you can still break those, uh, especially on larger vehicles. Now, you also have titanium gears. Titanium gears are light. They're lightweight. They're usually used on fast response servos, so really fast servos. Uh, and then there's steel gears. Steel gears are the strongest. Now, some of you may be thinking, wait a minute, I thought titanium was stronger than steel. Uh, not really. Uh, it depends on the type of titanium and steel. Titanium is stronger than steel for its weight. But depending on the type of steel that you have, steel can have a far greater tensile uh, strength, which is why you would probably want to consider steel gears for a heavy weight application. That's why I went with steel gears on my T-Max. Titanium, you're gonna, you, you will break them. So titanium gears, that's usually something you want if you're trying to lose weight. Let's see, all right, so now we're getting ready to install this. That is it, remember snug, do not over tighten. And that is it. So we have managed to replace the servo horn. It's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Again, like I said, uh, this would go in here. And it would go here. Uh, but one of the things, oh, actually, this, I wanna go on the back. All right, quick little mistake, let's fix it. Uh, so this goes toward the rear, it's a good thing I did this. Next thing you know, I would have ended the video with a mistake and that would have been horrible, then I have to correct it on the next one. Although it is, it is part of a series, but I don't like doing that. Uh, even though you can watch the next film. And I have to tell him about this and then I'll probably just glue it after. But the reason why I wanna tell him is uh, I don't wanna fix it now if he's gonna replace it which knowing him, he's probably gonna replace it with something really cool. Uh, so we'll see, maybe a Mamba Monster X or something. All right, here we go. So this would just go here and then you would clip this on 
the two screws, the four in the bottom, and then don't forget the four for the bumper. You're gonna have to flip these down again. Right now, this thing looks like an elk. Uh, and that is all. So I will be assembling everything in a future video, but right now, I'm gonna move this off to the side, and the next video, I'm gonna start tearing the front end down. Thank you so much for watching this one. Please subscribe if you have not, comment below, and just let me know uh, what your thoughts are. Uh, if you have this vehicle, has this happened to you as well? Go ahead and put it in the comments. Catch you in the next one. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,